Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Punjabi Verse podcast. So this is our first podcast with DSB Media. We will be going through my journey as a uh, person who's seeking to become fluent in Punjabi, I guess. Uh, there aren't any resources or anything out there, so this is us trying to create a resource while I am learning so that anyone else who is learning or is curious on how to teach someone can figure that out. We're going to be using comprehensible input coming from my co-host. Hi, I am Just Breathe. I'm Ethan's mother. I'm a native Punjabi speaker. Yes, so we'll be uh, teaching me, or she'll be teaching me through comprehensible input, which is uh, just listening a lot to the language. And yeah, sort of how like a toddler learns their first language. It's just by sitting there and hearing it, experiencing it, and then trying to speak back what they understand. Correct. So this first episode and some of the next beginner episodes as I'm uh, grasping the language are going to be a little bit shorter as we go on. The moderate and advanced episodes um, will be longer because at that point I'll have more input and therefore more uh, knowledge and understanding to build like a, a solid conversation around. So anyway, without further ado, we'll get started with the first lesson. Okay, great. How about we start with greetings? Greetings, yes. So the first thing when you speak a new language, you want to introduce yourself. So in English, you say, hi, I'm Ethan. So in Punjabi, you will say, hi, me Ethan. Me Ethan, huh? Okay, now you said, huh? You can also say, ah, or um, he. He is more Hindi. So me is I. Ethan is your name, and then a uh, or ha, huh, whichever one you like. Okay. So try it. So, me Ethan a uh, or me Ethan ha. Huh. Correct. So, I am Ethan, and then you want to say, how are you? So, you will say, tusi kime o. Tusi kime o. Tusi is you. It's a formal way of saying you. Tusi kime. Kime is how. So, notice how these are nasal sounds, and in English, we don't use nasalization. So, uh, Punjabi is a lot like Portuguese. Um, I was learning Portuguese at one time, and I noticed they use a lot of nasal sounds. So, tu si, kime, ho, or o. Again, I use a lot of a sound. I don't use the h. So, for our um, learning purposes, um, what do you like? I mean... I just whatever simplest <laughs> to be honest. See what comes naturally to you. So tu sin kimeo. So tu sin kimeo. Tu sin kimeo. And then the answer is I'm all right. Me tika. Me tika. But what if what if it's raining and I feel so sad? What would I say? Um uh you can say me tik naya. Me tik naya. So ne is no. Ne is no. Okay. Yeah. What if, what if I'm overjoyed? Um, me bohot vadia. Bohot vadia. So okay. bohot is very, mean? very, okay. and vadia is great. Bohot vadia. So it's not vadia, it's a vadia. It's oh, like vadia? the duh. Yeah, like duh. the duh sound in English, vadia. Okay. Me bohot vadia. Me bohot vadia. It's really me bohot vadia, uh, but because the vadia ends in a ah, uh, so it kind of gets blended. Me bohot vadia. And before we go on, do you mind going over some of the, the grammatical structure? Just um, very briefly, because I don't want to get too complex. Just... So in English, uh, notice how you said, how are you? We said, tu si kime o. So the verb comes in the end in Punjabi. So in okay. English, it's subject, um, and then verb and object, like right? how are you? And in Punjabi, it's like, tu si kime o. So subject an object, and then a uh, verb comes in the end. So just a little bit different, but don't think about the grammar, okay? No, I, because we're learning uh, the unconventional way or the natural way. So like if you went to any program to learn Punjabi, they would start you off with the alphabet and grammar. And then after two or three or five lessons, you'd be like, I'm not doing this, right? Which is what right, happens. Yeah. So we're not doing that. 
So do not think about the grammar too much. Just focus on thinking in Punjabi. So so let's practice, okay? So hi, main just preetha. Main itna. Tusi kime ho? Main bohut vadia. Or main bohut vadia ha. Acha. Acha is like okay or well. Acha really means good, but it's used a lot like um all right, well, you know, just like in English. So, uh, do you want to ask how I am doing? Uh, tu si ke me ho? Me vi tika. Me vi tika. What does the vi? So, the we is like me too. Like, I'm okay too. Yeah, of course. So, too. Yeah. Right? So, me vi tika. Interesting. So, how do you say hello if you are meeting someone for the first time or meeting someone again? Is there a difference? Um, that's a very good question. So, like, we say hi, hello. So, Punjabi, um, I think let's go on to the next section now. Now, enough lesson for today. How about the etiquette of the hello? Want to talk about that? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, this is a cultural tidbit. So, in Punjabi culture, people will, they are very um, conscious of your background. Meaning... Um, if they are meeting someone, they will know this person is what religion they belong to. And they will give a religious greeting. Mm. So there is no generic greeting in Punjabi. But for your purpose, learning purpose, you can say just hi and hello and that's fine. But if you want to be a little bit further down, you're speaking with a native. Um, so for example, if they are Hindu, Hindu religion, you will fold your hands and you will say namaste. All right. Namaste. Yeah. Okay. So if you've ever been to a yoga class, you know, you know, namaste, right? Which means I bow to the divine in you. So it's a religious Hindu greeting. Namaste. Oh, okay. okay. And the answer would be namaste. With a smile, namaste. So let's practice. So if you're meeting a Hindu person, how would you uh, start? No. Namaste. Namaste. Usi ke meo? Me tika. Usi ke meo? Me vi tika. Excellent. So now let's say you're meeting a Sikh person. Okay. You know, Sikh people, they wear a turban and their greeting is Sat Sri Akal. Sat Sri Akal. Yeah. Which means God is the truth. Okay. Sat is truth. Akal is timeless God. And Sri is like Mr. God, you know, like respect. So God is truth. Okay. So in, um, so, so you'll say Sat Sri Akal, you'll fold your hands. Satsrikal. Satsrikal. Tusi ke meo. Me tika. Like that. Okay. Now, if you meet um, a Muslim person, now this one's harder because the greetings are different. So you will say, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So I will say, Assalamu alaikum. For example, I'm meeting you. I know you're Muslim. I will start with, Assalamu alaikum. And then you will return with Waalaikum Assalam. Waalaikum Assalam. Which means peace be upon you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, so we are, again, it's a religious greeting. So it's, I highly recommend remembering these because um, people just love it. You know, when you uh, respond to them uh, in their cultural uh, background. Now, if you are not sure who, when you're talking to someone, if they are Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Christian, just say, stick with hello, and that's fine. Hello? <laughs> Is there like a, an accent thing? or No, just matter? hi, hello, or hello. So what if like I say hello? Is there going to be like, oh, American alert, and oh. they like treat me differently? Well, or? your accent will give you away. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, okay. So but it doesn't matter anyway. I can't hide it. It doesn't matter. But if you will make the effort to say namaste, satrikal, um, assalamu alaikum, um, you know, it will, it, it's like opening a door and right. people will appreciate, people are highly appreciative and they notice that you, you noticed and you, 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 you took the time, you know? Okay. Yeah. So since there's no introductory greeting, like hello or hi, hmm. is there a time dependent greeting or a weather dependent greeting or any of that, like good morning? Uh, well, I guess, I don't know if there's a weather dependent greeting in English. Uh, but you know what I mean, right? Like, is yeah, that, in, that is such a good question because there isn't. So like good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night does not exist in the culture. People have done the translations. So people will say that. But really the culture is, 
it's it's different so when you wake up in the morning so what do you do do you say namaste you can many times the older adults in the family if you're a kid they will bless you so they will say jionda re so jionda re means like keep living like <laughs> it's funny like don't die on me today you know keep living but it's like a blessing like may you live long you know so it's very common for an older person to give you that like oh you're awake now and then just kind of put your hand on their head and say jionda re putter like keep living child um so this is the culturally it's very different okay is it does it vary between religions or yeah, is it all it will um that's why i think um uh, for the modern times hi hello is fine um but depending on where and who you're going to talk to in punjabi you make that effort to find out no but when you're like when someone's giving a blessing mm -hmm. will that blessing the way they deliver the blessing mm -hmm. that vary between religions yeah it will so a hindu blessing could be uh may you live like 100 years or again different for a girl or a boy um um yeah it could be different i don't remember all of them like right off the top of my head okay so but yeah it it is quite different from english uh, or western culture so and you learn as you go are you often in positions where you have to give someone a blessing or is it usually you're the one on the receiving end of the blessing um depends on what your age is so if you're younger you will get blessings okay so so i don't have to worry about giving people blessings right now <laughs> yeah, that's my main concern no no you don't <laughs> oh, okay so right I now i think you just uh stick to learning you know just simple greetings and uh, thank you so that's another important so word and then thank you and bye bye so uh so interestingly when when you're done with our conversation and you're leaving you will the namaste and satsrikal stay the same so instead of saying bye you can say namaste and that means like okay we're done with our conversation you know so and similarly satsrikal you know it's over uh the muslim greeting i believe they have a different greeting for um bye it could be um khuda hafiz Khuda is God, Hafiz is may God take care of you. Like, you know how we say God speed? Yeah. Or may God be with you. So, so Khuda Hafiz or Allah Hafiz. So those are their greetings. Khuda Hafiz, Allah Hafiz? Yeah. Okay. And the Namaste, Satsrikal, they stay the same. So that's just one word to remember. Okay. So if I'm having, you know, a long, deep discussion with someone, uh -huh. will I just say, Satsrikal, and then it's like, it's over? <laughs> or like... Because, you know, sometimes culturally, there's like uh, an action or a phrase that symbolizes, okay, you know, we're, we're finished. Um, you can um, say, Changa fair. Changa fair. Changa fair? Yeah, Changa is good, fair is then. So it's like saying, uh, all right then, you know? Okay. Oh, well, like that. So it's like just a wrapping up. Right, sort of exactly. Okay. Changa fair. And then till we meet again. So you can say fair mil dea. Fair. Fair. Fair is like then. And mil de. Mil is to meet. And mil de is a conjugation. Fair mil dea. Fair mil dea. We'll meet again. And then people will typically, when they say that, they will begin, if they're sitting, they'll begin to stand up and, you know, body so language. Is the an at the end separate from mil de? Yes. Okay. Because I know some, like whenever you say it, sometimes it sounds like it's all... It's all like a blob. Yeah, it's one big blob, you know. I've heard the French do it too. So when people are learning French and the whole sentence it becomes like one giant word. So Punjabis are also... I don't know other languages. I think people do it. Um, like who done it in English, right? Right. What are some English examples? Um, Like gonna. Or gonna. Mm -hmm. Just like a slang What's term like that. Um, well, what's up? What you may call it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a teacher who used to say that a lot. So I'm sure. So Punjabi okay. has it. Oh, another word. Kidda. 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 It's my favorite word. So it means like, what's up or how. So when I see someone, uh, family, friends, and I will say, hi, kidda. 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 Again, nasal ending. Kidda really means like, how are you? Or what's up? 
it's a casual but sort of a fun way of greeting someone. So, Satrikal, kidda. Interesting. Okay. Or, Satrikal, tusi kidda. How are you? You know? So, Satrikal, kidda. Me bot vadia. Me vi bot vadia. Ethan, you're learning quickly. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what should we tell our viewers who are um, watching? Uh, I hope you're also learning a lot as well. <laughs> but, um,. No, let us know what you guys think of this episode. This was just short, about 15 minutes long. We intend to make it longer, some more segments, some more lessons. But at the same time, this isn't a process you can rush, right? We're going to go for 20 days, but also keep in mind that I've been trying to learn Punjabi for a while. My parents have spent money on tutors and you know, they've gone to the ends of the earth and nothing has worked. So this is our attempt after a lot of research into comprehensible input. We just decided, you know what, let's just go for it. Because at the end of the day, babies can literally do it, right? They make it look so easy. And if a baby can do it, I'm, I'm sure that I, I can learn. <laughs> and hopefully you guys can learn too, right? So I have a question. Or point. How about we quickly do a recap of all the new words that we spoke? What a wonderful idea. Okay. So, so in a conversation or do you want to like... No, let's just, just do a vocab. Okay. Sounds good. So, V... Well, I, I think let's it's start... better if we do it in a conversation. Because then you can infer the meaning. So that, that way, you know, it's, it's like a quiz almost, you know? Okay. All right. So... So... Satrikal. Satrikal. Do you see me? Me, Tika. Me, me, Vitika. Me, oh, Namaste. Namaste. Do you see me? Me, Bohot Vadia. Me, Vi Bohot Vadia. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Excellent, Ethan. Do you see me? Me, Tori Tori. Oh, so you remember that. Okay, so this is word means. Okay, explain, Ethan. Uh, tori Tori is like, uh, I'm, I'm okay. Little bit. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit, but, you know, for, um, I guess not a non-direct translation would be like, you know. I'm, yeah, I'm okay. Hoda means little. And Thodi Thodi, well, we'll discuss later. Words can, you can, you can sort of bend the words in Punjabi, uh, which is conjugation. So, so Thoda Thoda means little bit. And okay, how about saying bye bye now in Punjabi? Changa fir. Changa fir, fir milde. Ah, fir milde. And then Satrikal. Satrikal. Namaste. Namaste. And how would the Muslim say it? That's hard. Um, I do not recall. Um, Khuda Hafiz. Oh, Khuda Hafiz. Or Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Yeah. So, okay. uh, like, God be with you or Godspeed. Okay? So, Kuta I think... Hafiz, huh? Allah Hafiz. You, you're doing great, Ethan. And then, how did I say... How, how was I supposed to say I'm not doing well or, like, I'm doing sad? Oh, Hanji. Did you hear Hanji? So, Hanji means yes. So, Ha is yes. Nahi means no. Hanji. Hanji. And then see the G at the end? You know that. Respect. So the word G is respect. Yeah. And I've heard the Japanese do it too. Um, your dad once mentioned. Um, don't they use that word san? Yeah, like from Karate Kid, Daniel Sun. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that mean? I assume it's a similar concept. Like just you, you add some respect to their name. So yeah, the like respect honor. is a big thing in the culture. In South Asian cultures, so which would be Punjabi, Hindi, Urdu. So the G word, just say G, and that just shows respect. Like Ethan G, like if you were older than me, and I could just say Ethan G, so that just denotes so much respect that I show towards you. So interesting. Well, anyway, with that all wrapped up, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you liked, what you didn't like. Maybe you want to see this more uh, formal or mm, the segments 
more evenly separated or whatever, whatever it may be, let us know. And thank you for tuning in. We'll be back with episode two very soon. Fermildeo. Fermildeo. Satrika. Satrika. <laughs> <laughs>